Amid the tributes and the pageantry over the past two days, there is a history lesson beneath the stars and the stripes and the well-kept uniforms. As Alabama celebrates Veterans Day on this Monday holiday, you go back a few years to find out that the impetus, the driving force behind the national holiday came from right here in Birmingham. In 1946, the late Raymond Weeks, a World War II veteran from Birmingham, led the plan to change November 11th from Armistice Day to honor Americans who served in every war. Got on a plane, which was a little tougher in those days, to go to the Pentagon to go see General Eisenhower with this draft flyer for the following year that said National Veterans Day 1947. In 1954, then President Eisenhower signed the bill that changed it to the holiday we know. In 1982, Raymond Weeks was awarded the President's Citizens Medal by President Ronald Reagan. As director of the National Veterans Day celebration in Birmingham, for the past 36 years, Raymond Weeks, a World War II veteran himself, has devoted his life to serving others, his community, the American veteran, and his nation. WVTM 13 was also at the White House that day. I accepted this award in behalf of the combined veterans organizations the citizens of Birmingham and Alabama, and that's the way it should be. Alabama and Birmingham history that should be known. A plaque honoring Raymond Weeks at Lynn Park is graced by wreaths every Veterans Day. In Birmingham, Jeff Eliasoff, WVTM 13.